an old lady who was riding the subway was harassed by an individual because she decided to do something so egregious, so unthinkably controversial that somebody had to go out of their way to confront her. What was she doing? Oh, you know, she chose to wear a mask during a pandemic while she's out in public. But somebody chose to uh, accost her for this because freedom. Take a look. I mean, it doesn't seem like you actually are in favor of freedom, because if you truly respected freedom, perhaps you should respect her freedom to wear a mask. Now, I have to point out that not many people were wearing masks on the subway. So, like, out of all the people, she was one of the most responsible ones. And you just had to mess with her. You had to confront her because you believe in freedom. And he was chanting 1776 as if the founders would be applauding this dumb fuckery. Oh, yes, this is why we founded the country. So, dumb fucks who are anti-mask during pandemics can harass old ladies on subways. That's what freedom is all about. That's precisely what we had in, in mind when we founded the United States. I mean, I just, this level of delusion, I don't think that it's, it's possible to um, correct. Like, I think that if you're that far gone, we're at this stage in the pandemic as the Delta variant ravages the country and you're still anti-mask, I think that you're too far gone. I think that your brain is too broken to be fixed. Because you're harassing an old lady for wearing a mask. Everyone on that subway, had they been responsible and worn masks, should be accosting you for not wearing a mask and spreading your disgusting germs on all of them in a closed area while we have this airborne virus. But that dumb fuck chose to um, pretend as if he's the one who's the hero. Not necessarily pretend. I think he thinks he actually is the hero, but he wanted to be the hero. And what's interesting is that he was totally like unmoved when he realized that somebody else was filming her. So he, he genuinely believed that when people saw him harassing an old lady, they would side with him. Like, you have to think that, otherwise, you know, you would you would stop. The filming would be a deterrent if he truly believed that he was in the wrong. But as he was chanting 1776 at this old lady, he, he just kept doing it. Unbelievable. So if you're wondering who this guy is, the internet did some digging and they quickly found out that this individual is Ryan Bartles, who is seemingly active in Republican circles. He was recently spotted at a Republican organized anti-vaccine mandate rally in New York City, wearing the same exact outfit, actually, and also throwing up signs that led some people to believe that he may actually be a member of the Proud Boys. Now, as Heavy's Stephanie Dube de Wilson adds, Bartles was an investment banking summer analyst at Goldman Sachs from 2014 to 2015 and worked at two other firms after college before starting his job at Carmarks in 2019, according to the now deleted LinkedIn profile. Now, it is the case that he no longer works at Carmarks. They issued a statement saying this actually isn't our employee. Um, you know, we, we don't condone this, obviously. And so I'm not necessarily sure if this is some sort of a Republican operative. I don't know if he's like a provocateur who liked that somebody was filming him because he, you know, was trying to make some sort of a point on social media and anti-vax, anti-mask circles. I'm not necessarily sure, but I do think it's really important that we name and shame these individuals when we see it. When videos like this go viral, it is important that we share these videos to show how stupid many Americans still are during a pandemic. At this stage in the pandemic, we're approaching year two of the coronavirus pandemic, and I don't think that these types of viral videos are going to stop popping up. I, I just think that this is going to be a common phenomenon throughout the duration of the pandemic. And that's really sad because you'd think at some point Americans would just like stop complaining about masks, which are the least offensive thing to do during the pandemic. And they're also incredibly effective, but that this is, it's just going to be an issue um, until the pandemic is over. If it is over ever, you know, um, thanks to people like this guy who uh, is, doing everything to keep 
the pandemic going by shaming people who wear masks. And I'd be remiss to not remind everyone that one particular news figure, Tucker Carlson, actually encouraged people on his broadcast, one of the most popular news shows in America, to confront people who are wearing masks in public and tell them that their mask makes you feel uncomfortable. Now, I believe that individual responsibility to an extent is important, but individuals with a lot of influence and a lot of viewers like Tucker Carlson, I do think that he should share some responsibility for things like this, especially because he actively encouraged it. And there's been no ramifications. I mean, he's lost a lot of advertisers, but Fox News still continues to give this individual a platform, even if the misinformation that he spreads is deadly. He's still there, spreading his propaganda. Like, if I spread that much propaganda on my YouTube channel, I would have been gone months ago. But people like Tucker Carlson, they can con continue to do this and get away with it. And, you know, um, this just emboldens individuals like Ryan Bartles here, who, you know, feels as if he can do things like this and get away with it. No ramifications if you walk up to an old lady and confront her for wearing a mask. I mean, how disgusting and reprehensible. Like, what a piece of shit. Go fuck yourself, Ryan. Like, how dare you walk up to this old lady minding her business wearing a fucking mask? It's just, it's gross, and I'm so sick of it. Like, I don't know if there's ever going to be a point to where the pandemic gets serious enough, if there's some new variant that's even worse than the Delta variant that comes along that makes conservatives take it more seriously, but I don't think it ever is going to be something that they take seriously. It doesn't matter what the death rate is. It doesn't matter uh, the transmissibility. They just don't care, and they will never take it seriously because it's not about the virus. It's a political issue now. It's a statement now. And so anyone who wears a mask, that is a symbol of them you know, uh, buying into tyranny and uh, being part of the people who want to, like, I don't know, control you with vaccine mandates and, va and mask mandates. So he sees her as a symbol of a broader issue, a microcosm of, you know, a society that is becoming increasingly authoritarian. And his little pea brain can't process the fact that she's just some random person that just wants to go about her day while not spreading germs, unlike him. I, I'm just, I, I'm sick of this, but I will continue to uh, share these types of viral videos so people like this get named and shamed and shunned from society. Hopefully his friends will see the video and they will shut him out, but probably, you know, they, they applaud him and think that he's being a hero that he thinks he is for doing things like this. Either way, it's gross and um, it, this has to be called out and I hope that as many people see it as possible. Beta male.